Hello everybody, this is Justin Smith with LED Sign Company and today I'm going to go over how we download the sign programming software which is called ITV and I'm also going to go over how to download the software manual. Now I will not be going, going over how to download the wireless Bluetooth driver, I'm going to save that for a different tutorial. And the reason being is that not everybody actually needs the wireless driver. If you have a hard wire connection to your sign, um, to your computer, you don't need the Bluetooth driver. That's just for the Bluetooth USB inserts and it's going to allow your computer to recognize the USB attachment so that you can communicate with the sign. So if you are using that, you'll need that and I am making a tutorial for that which will be below this one. Uh, so in this tutorial I'm just going to basically show you how to download the software and just the basics which I've already pulled up right here. If you already know most of this stuff, feel free to skip ahead to the next tutorial and I'm going to go over to how to actually make a basic presentation. Uh, so to get started, just go to our download page and I'll admit uh, we're doing website maintenance right now. This page will probably look different by the time you're on it but just go to the services tab and drop down to the software uh, link which will be there and these same three downloads will be here. Go ahead and click the sign software download and um, allow it to uh, save file. Now I've actually already downloaded this onto my computer so um, I don't need to. Uh, just go ahead and double click it and um, there we go. Uh, allow it to access your computer and the install wizard will open. Uh, so just click whatever language you're most comfortable with. I'm going to do English and click next, download the complete package and that's that. And while that's downloading on our computer I just want to say uh, we also have a link here which will bring you to our manual. This is the manual right here. It's in a PDF file and it's a nice resource to have. It goes through everything. Um, so please, please download the manual if you have questions. It addresses most everything. Uh, you know, I'm also making these videos so that you can ac actually see how to do all this stuff. Um, so whenever that's finished downloading, you're gonna get, you're gonna get two things on your desktop. You're gonna get the Y View um, icon and the ITV soft software icon. Uh, go ahead and delete the Y View. That was used for our older signs. You don't need them, so just remove it and uh, go ahead and open up ITV. Okay, once we are actually in the ITV software, your screen should be pretty similar to mine right here. Uh, now, I'm not going to actually go through what we need to do to make a presentation in this tutorial. I'm going to do that in the next one, but I am going to go over how to set this up. So, uh, your screen should look, for the most part, like mine, except this uh, little black window right here. This might be a little bit different um, for you. Uh, and I'm going to go over this in the next tutorial as well, but whenever you open the ITV software, you need to set the size of sign that you're working with to your size of sign. Uh, so the very first thing that I want you to do when you open up the software, before anything else, is I want you to go to, go to set, <coughs> I want you to go to screen size, and I want you to set this width and height over here to your correct size of sign. So I'm just going to set it to a 4x7. That's pretty standard. If you do not know your size, it should be on the bid that we sent you, or we will provide you with that information. If we have not, please just contact us and we'll let you know. And then go ahead and click OK, and you'll notice it's going to resize this window a little bit. Um, now I already pulled up uh, exactly just a picture of all the labeled portions of the screen and I'm going to go through and cover what each one of these do here in a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but basically what we're looking at here is the sign programming software. Now I want to tell you all that this is not a graphic design software. This is not any sort of design software. This is simply a sign programming software. Think of it like a train station. We're going to load up our commands and we're going to export them to the sign. So the very first thing that I want you to take note of is the center portion, uh, which is, as you can see, called the scenario. Now the scenario is basically a list of all the commands that we're going to send to the sign. The sign reads them from top to bottom in chronological order, and whenever it's done, it repeats and cycles through infinitely. So this is the total total compilation of all the commands that you're going to send to the sign. And you can have about as many on here as your computer can hold without crashing. <coughs> now off here to the right, these bubbles are our actions. The red bubbles are the action groups, and the green are the actual action items. 
the simple way to think about this is these are the animations and if you look down here in the lower right hand corner you'll notice that there's a little preview pane for our animations. Animations are just fun things that can help grab your viewers attention and I'm gonna go through how to use these in the next tutorial but I just want you to take note um, sorry about that and we'll open it right back up okay um, I just want you to take note that these are here and um, it's simple. The red ones are the categories, and the greens are the actual actions. Uh, up top, uh, these are our list of commands. We've got our text tool, our wait time tool, our time tool, and um, a bunch of other tools uh, in here. And I'll go over what each one of them, uh, them does specifically uh, in the next tutorial. Uh, for now, I want you to look at the black preview pane right here. See, this is called our um, preview pane or example pane. And this is going to show exactly uh, what we are going to put on the sign before we actually upload it to the sign. That way you've got an accurate image of what's going to go on there, an idea, before you actually put it out there for the whole world to see. And yours is probably a little bit smaller than mine, and here's how I want you to change that. I want you to go up to the set button, and I want you to go to simulation window, and set it to two or three, and just make it big enough where you can see it and we're gonna do something uh, with this here in the next tutorial but um, <coughs> the last thing I'd like you to take note of is just uh, you have your basic uh, file edit view buttons up here and you can save all these tutorials that you make just as you would a regular file just go to file save as and it will save I've already got a um, sign presentation folder set up and you just save it to your desktop any folder that you set up it doesn't really matter um, save it under anything. It can say example, and um, it will save as its own unique file type. You can open it later and edit it. You can email these around. Um, it's it's very handy. Um, so that about wraps up what I wanted to cover in this tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial, I'm going to cover exactly what you need to do to get your assigned program. Thanks.